Amen. Praise the Lord, Facebook. Welcome, 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 welcome. It is truly a blessing. I love being able to speak before you. I love being able to speak uh, and tell the word of God. That's that's the key. The word. Amen. He says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. How can a young man cleanse his way? That's what the word of God says, except by the word. It is the word, the word, the word. We don't want to hear man's opinion. That's all right. Man's opinion is okay for man and worldly things. But God's opinion endures. It endures all of the tests and trials. It endures all of the backsliding of mankind. It endures all of that other stuff. Amen. His Amen. word <laughs> is true and let every man be a liar. All right. So look, let me tell you something. I, I was telling y'all before, I hope that you all learned something last time, but I said I was going to say it anyway. And that kind of talks about what we're going to talk about today, because today, people in this generation, in this hour, they want to hear sweet words. They mm. want to hear sweet words. And we have, according to the word of God, according to Matthew chapter 24, according to Mark chapter 13, in the last days, there will come false prophets. These false prophets would, would uh, uh, the people would heap unto themselves, false prophets and false teachers having itching ears. The Bible says in these last days that men would make merchandise of you. Mm. Hear what I said. They're going to make merchandise of you. They're going to count bodies. And each one of those bodies will represent a number. That number will be the amount of tithes and offerings you give so that money can be collected and be blessing to them. But God says that in that same generation, he's going to raise up real prophets. Mm. And this is what I want you to understand. The difference between a real prophet and a false prophet is the real prophet is not liked. <laughs> I say it again. A real prophet mm -hmm. is not like Jesus even said it like this. He says a prophet is not welcome in his own home. When Jesus looking at Jerusalem, he said, oh, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets. You, every one of them that God sent, they killed them. They sawed Isaiah in half. Most don't know that. That historically they believed that, that uh, 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 the king uh, 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 literally of Israel had Isaiah sawed in half. The same one that says he was wounded for our transgressions. Now we shout over that, but the people didn't want to hear when the prophet spoke. Are y'all with me? Amen. Amen. So we must understand what is truth, what is true, and what is fake. What is the truth? What are we supposed to be doing? Now look, let me ask y'all a question. I'm going to let Sister Trina is the only one unmuted. She's going to be y'all spokesman. So hopefully she gets it uh -oh. right. <laughs> hopefully she gets it right. How many of y'all have ever been sitting down and you're in a service and for one quiet moment, you look around and you say something's wrong? Mm -hmm. You know what yes. I'm talking about? Yes. Can yes. I get some of y'all to shake your head or yes, yes or no? Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Something is missing. Mm -hmm. Music sounds great. Man, Pastor tore it up today. He preached our socks off. <laughs> Something is missing. Something is missing. And I'm going to talk about that. What did they preach in the days? What did Jesus preach? What did John the Baptist preach? What did they preach? And now we compare it with what we're preaching today. And I hope that you see this. So look, turn with me to Mark chapter uh, 1, verse 15. Mark 1.15. I'm going to show y'all this. I'm going to get out of your way. Not this one scripture. I'm going to give you more than one. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's look at, let's, we stay in Mark 1, but look at verse 4. And we're going to look at what John the Baptist preached. Okay. Mark Read 1 and 4. Uh -huh. John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. He preached what? He re, uh, he preached the baptism of repentance. Repentance. And rem and the what? For the For what? the remission of sins. Remission means removal. For the removal of sins. Keep reading. And they five. went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. Confessing their sins. Go ahead. And John was clothed with camel's hair. Uh-huh. And with a girdle of a skin about his loins. Uh-huh. 
And he did eat locusts and wild honey. All right. And did what? Verse seven. And preached. And saying, preached. Yes. What did he preach saying? There cometh one mightier than I. Stop. He preached me. Jesus. Yes. There's somebody coming greater than me. The Lord is coming. Keep reading. The latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. And what happened? Verse eight. I indeed have baptized you with water, <laughs> but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. In another version, it says the Holy Ghost and fire. Glory mm. to God. He's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. The Holy Ghost is fire. Why? Because our God is a consuming fire. Amen. So the scripture teaches that John came preaching repentance, and he did it by preaching baptism. Amen. He, baptism was a part of that message. And then he also came saying, Jesus is coming. This is what God did before he came the first time. And the people missed it. Mm -hmm. The Pharisees, the people in the church, if you will, the representation of the church, they were so busy with their rituals and how they looked. They had on their garments. The priests were dressed in their garment, the ephod, which is the, 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 the headrest. They had on the breastplate with the Urim and the Thummim. These are two different colored stones, 12 of them representing the tribes of Israel. They had on all of the blue and the purple. They had all of these beautiful priestly robes and they were saying the Messiah, Mashiach, he's coming, he's coming. And he walked right by them and they didn't know it. Amen. He went past the great and beautiful edifices and he went to the pimps and the prostitutes because the preachers wouldn't listen. Mm -hmm. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. John came preaching and we're going to see this consistently. He preached repentance. When is the last time you heard somebody say repent? Mm hmm I'm going to tell you why you don't hear it, because don't nobody want to go to church and hear that. That's the so that is a fact. Who wants to go and hear that what I just did last night is an abomination? Who wants to hear the preacher say that the that God is look, what do they say? Come on, come on, sinners. Y'all can come. You can come. But understand this. The Bible says that God is even mad, angry with the wicked every single day. That's the word of God. He's angry. Don't you know that they say, come on, all you got to do, brother, is just begin to pray. And when you pray, God will begin to touch your life. No, the Bible says he doesn't hear sinners. Mm -hmm. And when a sinner prays, it goes no further than his mouth. That the only thing he will hear out of the mouth of the sinner is that Jesus is Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that Amen. they believe with the, in their heart and confess with their mouth that God has raised Christ Jesus from the dead. And then he'll save them. Then he'll hear. Their mm -hmm. prayer. When they call out to him, he said, I'll answer before you even call. I know your thoughts. So what did John the Baptist preach? Repentance. Repentance. Remission of sins mm -hmm. and baptism. And Jesus is coming. Am Amen. I right about it? Amen. Look at verse 14. Read now, that. after that, John was put in prison. Uh huh. Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Uh huh. And saying... The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. So Jesus preached repent. Yes, he did. Then why don't your preacher preach repent? <laughs> Self-help preachers. Oh, this is your time. You coming, you getting a breakthrough. You coming out. He don't know what hell you just did. All he knows is you coming out. Let me give you a general prophecy. Mm-hmm. God says, I hear it now that you're getting ready to be blessed. Now, I'm not going to despise prophecy, but I'm going to tell you this. If God is only saying good to you, that is not the God of the prophets of old. <laughs> I believe it was John. It was Jesus that said to the Pharisees, you generation of vipers who can save you. Matter of fact, Jesus looked at him and said, you are open. You are a pretty supplicator. You are a casket. Outwardly, you're beautiful and carved with marble and all of that. But inside of you is full of dead men's bones. Do you mm. hear what I'm saying? Where are the preachers that preach that? I believe it was Jeremiah that the, no, it was uh, uh, Elijah that the, that uh, the, the, the king said, I don't like hearing Elijah. He only preaches and prophesies bad to me. <laughs> prophesies <laughs> sweet words to me. Lie to me. 
<laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. We are supposed to be preaching repentance. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what I'm saying? What is repentance? Write this down. It's when you finally change your mind. It's when you change your mind and you change your actions. You say, I was wrong all along. Some of you are repentant coming on this line. You came and you heard the word. You heard, you heard me talk about the times that are coming. The Bible teaches and preaches and prophesies in, in the book of uh, Revelation chapter 6 that there will be a global financial collapse. And surely mm -hmm. thereafter, one-fourth of mankind, approximately two billion people, will be taken away. That in that same scripture, he illustrates that it will spark with Islam. But he said, behold, I saw a pale horse. The word for that word pale is chloris. It's the root word of chlorophyll. It means green. Mm -hmm. I saw a pale green horse. Green is the color of Islam. And he says, and on that horse rode death and hell followed with him. <laughs> and he told us how man would be killed by weapons of mass destruction with the sword and with the beast of the earth. I showed you that the beast of the earth was talking about the viruses. This was this was not this year right. when the that's, pandemic hit. That's right. I said that to you two years ago. Yes, you did. Am I lying? Am I right about it, Sister you Trina? Right. You was there. Yes, I that was That it will there. be the pa to pandemics, the pathogens. These are the greatest living organisms on earth. And by this, a fourth part of man will be killed. And then shall come the time of great tribulation. Amen. It would overtake the world such as was not since man had been on the earth. And you heard it. And when you heard the truth, you said, mm -hmm. he didn't say it's my season and my time. He's saying it is my time to turn. Yes. For my wicked ways mm -hmm. to turn unto the only one that can preserve me, that whether living or dying, whether I die with a flash right. of a nuclear bomb in the distance, or if I die of old age, absent from the body, it's present. <laughs> It's with to be Lord. present yes. with the Lord. For God, I yes. live. But old Hallelujah. Folks, and God, I die. Yes. Matter of fact, the old folks used to go so crazy. They would say, "Let God, if I die, let me die, Lord, in the army of the Lord. If you want to take me out. This is the saints of old. Today, they don't even want to uh, 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 get put out of their house. They're getting ready to turn on the Lord because their boyfriend left them. Right. It's water. <laughs> but I'm going to preach what Jesus preached. I'm going to preach what John the Baptist preached. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. All right. So look, I'm going to show you real quick what the disciples preached. Hmm. Glory to the name of the Lord. Go with me to, uh, 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 let me see. Go with me to Acts chapter 17, verse 30. Get there quickly. Let's go quickly because I got a few of them to go. Acts is right next to John. If you don't know where John is, look in the front of your table of contents. <laughs> you know how people try to act real say like they know where every part is, and then they be looking funny. All right, let's mm -hmm. go. Acts chapter 13, excuse me, 17. Verse 30. Verse 30, read that for me. And the times of this ignorance, God winked at. Uh, he did what? And, let me say that again. And uh, the times of this ignorance, God winked at. The people was ignorant and God just winked at it and said, I'll let you slide. Mm -hmm. You don't know no better. But what did he say? But now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Read them first two words again. You said what? And Be the times. Uh -uh. But, but now. But now commandeth. Say it again. But now commandeth. So look, the time before. God looked at it and said, look, let me, let me teach y'all something. There's two different types of time in the word of God. There is something called, it's called Kairos. It means appointed time. Mm -hmm. It means that there is a main timeline throughout the history of mankind that God has set. And when God said it, everything in that time must happen. Do you hear what I'm saying? God mm -hmm. spoke to Abraham at a specific time and said, come out from the land of Ur, and I will take you unto a land where which you have never been. This shall be the promised land. And out of Abraham at a specific and appointed time came Isaac. Mm -hmm. And out of that same man came who? Uh, 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 Ishmael. Mm -hmm. Ishmael had to be born because out of Ishmael would become the people of the Middle East, the Arabs, 
Why is that important? Because out of them would come Islam and Islam would be the one that would spark the world war in the book of Revelation. Everything had to be born. That's why the Bible says that Jesus in the fullness of time was born of a woman, wrapped and made in the likeness of sinful flesh. He wasn't sinful, but he looked just like our sinful flesh. He was born at a chosen time. Jesus came to the man and said, I want you, he told the disciples, go and find a man. He has a donkey. And the donkey has never been ridden, ridden on. This donkey has been prepared for me to walk in and to ride into Jerusalem for them to say, Hoshiana, mm -hmm. Hoshiana in the highest, thou son of David. He came at a time, the appointed time. So God, according to this scripture, when they were at a time that he could allow them to slide, he just said, I'll give them time to repent. Mm -hmm. But now. But now, and this but is what now. I want to say to you, you are in the time. You are not in the same time period as the men who came before, who said that, oh, God is coming back. You're in the time. How do I know you're in the time? You're in the time technologically. The word of the Lord teaches that there would be, that we would have the capability, streaming, internet, television, all of that is prophesied in the Bible. All right. The word of the Lord says in Revelation chapter 11, that the Antichrist shall kill the two witnesses and leave their bodies in the streets for three and a half days. Mm -hmm. And the word of the Lord says after three and a half days, representing the exact time of the great tribulation, three and a half years, hallelujah, that they yeah. would be risen on their feet and the entire world, the world. would see them. How yeah. can the world, the entire world, See one event on planet Earth that That's is right. television, that is streaming, that is the internet. And guess what the Bible says, Elder Larkins? Let me show you what he said. He says, and those men begin to send gifts to one another in mm -hmm. celebration of the two witnesses being killed. But guess what? The Bible teaches that that is a global distribution center. Amazon, <laughs> you I couldn't send gifts to everybody in the world in the, right. in the 1900s, in the 1800s. You couldn't send gifts to one another, even as early as the early 19, uh, uh, 1990s. You couldn't do that. It would take too long. But in our generation, glory to God, some of y'all ordered your groceries online today. That's right. Joe did. <laughs> yes, I, I ordered a, a jar that. of pickles. You remember grandmama used to give you those 50 cents? <laughs> Go down to the right. grocery store, baby, <laughs> and I want you to get me a, a, a ham. Grandma, it's going to cost more than 50, 50 cents. <laughs> well, you better make it work, baby. I want a ham, two <laughs> things of milk. You don't have to do that, Granny. Granny, all you got to do is just, you look, you don't even have to call them. Mm -hmm. You can just click on a button, and it'll be done. You are living in the hour. You are living in the hour and the time. And God is saying, now is the time where he commanded what? Read the rest. Watch this. All men everywhere to repent. Somewhere. Everywhere. Maybe not in your church. No, everywhere. All everywhere. Men. That's a problem. <laughs> if you ain't hearing it, that's a problem. All right. Now, look at this. Let me give you this quick message as we get ready to finish this. People are saying, well, how will I grow? How will I develop? I've preached repentance to you every single day. If you, I don't care how long you've been on here. You heard me talk about turning from your sin every single time. And mm -hmm. in that time, you've learned all about the word of God. Not because I'm great. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's not me tooting my own horn. I just gave you what? The word. The word. From Genesis 1. All the way to Revelation chapter 22, he says, repent. All the way in Revelation 22, he said, whosoever will, let him come and drink of the water of life freely. <laughs> Glory to the, the spirit and the bride say, come. Then why your preacher ain't saying come? <laughs> Glory to God. There's prostitutes and pimps and broke people all in your city. And nobody is telling them to come. I just want the members from the other church. I told the Lord yesterday, I said, Lord, I will no longer go to the church. They don't listen. They don't listen. 
Listen, hear me clearly. I don't care if they hear me on Facebook. I ain't going no more. And when I say I ain't going no more, I ain't talking about I'm not going to fellowship. I'm not going to you saying, come on, listen to me. I'm just going to warn you and walk off. And walk off. Why? Right. The Lord says there shall be a pandemic declared in the churches. Two days ago. Mm -hmm. Two days ago. The, 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 the national news, put it on, put it on TV, put it on the internet. There's a pandemic in the churches in North Carolina, in, in, in Tennessee, in here, in Kentucky. In, and my wife and I began to pull up in every single month in some news place, in some random place, it's always a pandemic in the church. In the church. I, I think it's a, a, a 110 got the virus at a prayer meeting. Why, Lord? Why would you allow your people to get it? Because the Lord says, it's from me. Yes. The church didn't want to pray when the children were executing themselves in school, when kids were grabbing guns, going into the schools and blowing their, blowing their, their friends and family away. Boop, 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 boop. The Lord told me, tell them, tell the church. That if you pray, if you call solemn assemblies, and I don't know just small time pastors, there are pastors that have influence over thousands of churches. Mm -hmm. I know they heard it and they said nothing. God said, because you won't do it. Some of y'all was here. Was you, you was listening. You was here, Sister Trina, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You remember that? The Lord says, because you won't do it, do it. I'm yep. going to allow the shootings to go outside of the churches yes. and they're going to be in supermarkets. Y'all remember it. Am I right? Yep. Am I right about it? Yep. Let me see some heads yes. shaking. If you was there, you remember what I'm talking yes. about. Come out. He said, he's going to make it go into all these places. And guess what? They did it. And the people in the church still wouldn't pray. So God said, I'll send a pandemic where you can't meet in your churches. And you know what they said? My, my sister, Jerice, they said, we're going to go anyway. Mm-hmm. Sure and guess what? They're getting sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's wrong, Lord? I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> you want to pray now? Get on your face and repent. They want to do the same thing they were doing in the building, outside of the building. They want to keep doing the same thing. We got to, come on, play the organ. Play the organ. The Lord is saying, I'm not in the organ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what, that's what the Bible said to old Elijah. He says that there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. <laughs> Glory to God. He says, and then there was a big old whirlwind, but the Lord was not in the whirlwind. Glory to the name of the Lord. Then he said there was a still, small voice. I'm telling you right now, mm. as a prophet, as surely I am a prophet and a messenger of God, if you keep going in there, you will get sick. Amen. And many of them will die. They're in the second wave. You're in the second wave. And the Lord said to the churches, if you repent and turn to me, I will not let you get sick. Mm -hmm. None of your members will get sick. Amen. But if you do not listen and you do not repent, mm -hmm. they will get sick as a dog and they will start mm -hmm. dying. dying. That's what, if they're smart, they'll yeah. start looking and saying, oh, I'm being led by a blind guide. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I know they don't like it. I'm gonna pre it's okay if I don't like it, if you don't like it. <laughs> and I ain't gonna invite him to my church to preach. I don't want to come. I want to go to the people that don't have no money. <laughs> Glory to God. I want to go to the people that don't have a house. They got to sit in their cardboard box and I preach the gospel. I want to go to the people that I, they, they can't say I'm after their money. Mm -hmm. All I want to do is see them saved. I want to go to a people where I don't got a building and a pool to baptize you in. Let's go to the river. Let's uh, go hey, over to the hey. ocean and be baptized yes. in the name of Jesus, Yeshua and Seti, Jesus of Nazareth. Glory to the name of the Lord. All right. Read that scripture and then we're going to get up out of there. Go ahead. Watch this. This the 31. Yes, ma'am. Because he has appointed a day <laughs> in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he has ordained. Wait, wait, the man that he's ordained is Jesus. All right. You know that the word of the Lord says that when you are judged, that you won't be judged by God the Father. 
that the word of the Lord and, I, and, I, and the father of all Jesus is obviously the same. But when he when when you are judged, Jesus says the father henceforth judgeth no man for he has committed all judgment unto the son. So when you see God sitting on the throne, you're going to be looking at Yeshua, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to the name. He's going Amen. to be the one that he appointed the appointed day. What I'm telling to telling you today is the appointed day is super close. Yes. Super close. Super close. Now I know I'm going to show you again. Go ahead, read it. Let me give him something. Go ahead, watch this. Whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, in that he hath raised him from the dead. The assurance to us is that he raised from the dead. There is an appointed day and it is soon. And the church, hear me, is saying, we're okay. We're going to be raptured before all of this stuff happens. There you go. Yep. And I'm going to tell you this right now. <laughs> you ain't never read it. Right. Tell me where you read it. Where God said, I'm taking you out before the trouble. You ain't never read it. <laughs> I know I'm right, because I never read it when I was taught it. <laughs> Glory to the name of the Lord. But watch this. Matthew chapter 24 and 29. Go there. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. And then I'm going to get on to what we're supposed to be doing. Woo! I'm loving this. I don't know if y'all liking it, but Amen. I'm happy. I'm over Amen. here fat and happy. Woo! Revelation. Matthew 24, 29. All right. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. This is Immediately Jesus. Immediately after the tribulation oh, oh, oh. of we're we going to read it. I want you to see this. This is Jesus talking about the, the rapture. Read it. Watch this. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened mm. and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven uh -huh. and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Verse 30. Watch this. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in, the, in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. <laughs> and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And what is he going to do in verse 31? And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. The trumpet. Which trumpet? The oh, last that trumpet. Seventh trumpet. <laughs> glory to the name of the Lord. But at the last trumpet, the dead in Christ yes. shall rise. Right? Didn't he say a trumpet? That's what he said. Now, what they teach you and what I was taught and what I used to teach is that the rapture will happen. The last trumpet will happen like right before the tribulation. And then the Lord will come back. And this scripture is talking about him coming back. Right. 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 Well, there's a problem, brother preacher. If the last trumpet happens before the tribulation, why is he talking about another trumpet after the tribulation? Amen. I'm not a rocket scientist, but the last means the last. You ain't no more after that. <laughs> Glory to the name of the Lord. Now, if I said the first trumpet, then there's a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, right? But mm -hmm. the last one is the last. Read verse 29. When is the Lord coming? Immediately after the tribulation. Stop right there. <laughs> let me just, I'm going to let it marinate. Y'all read it. Am I lying? Am I right about it? Right. Now, That's you might right. not like what I'm saying. Let me ask you this. Do you know what's going to happen? My Lord. If you did, you would call all of your family. You would call all your friends. I don't care if they hung up in your face. You will call them a million times. If the house of your loved ones, all of your friends are in a house and it is on fire and they don't know it and you ring the door and they open it and shut it in your face, you're not going to walk away and leave. You'll kick the door down. You'll look, you'll drag them out, cussing you out. That's right. Because you understand that if you leave them in the house, they'll die. Then if you, why is it that we ain't going after our friends and our family members? Amen. We don't Amen. know what's coming. Do you know that the word of God says that there will be two asteroids that hit the planet that literally wipes out everything in the oceans and the fresh water, all fresh water will be poisoned one day. There will be no drinkable or potable water. Everything in the sea will die. Do you know that the word of God teaches that because of nuclear uh, of, uh, uh, of war, that the sun will one day be able to scorch men, that it will be fires all over the planet, not just in California. 
The same people that preach the gospel are saying there's no such thing as global warming. There's no, no such thing as issues going on in the weather where 90 something percent of the book of Revelation deals with weather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that the Bible says that he will destroy them that destroy the earth. It's coming. Amen. It's coming. It's coming. And God is saying that in times past, I winked at your ignorance, but now I command, I command all men everywhere to repent, to repent, to turn. So look, I'm going to leave it at that. Now I could give you 30,000 more scriptures about Jesus talking about him coming back. I could, I mean, I, I'm talking about after the tribulation, I could go to the book of revelation chapter 18, where he says, behold, I come as a thief. Lord, I thought you already came as a thief. Why are you coming as a thief at the end of the book of revelation? That's because I didn't come. They taught you that. Matter of fact, Jesus prayed that he wouldn't take you out of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, revelation 17, Lord, I pray that you do not take them out of the world, but that you keep them through the hour of temptation. Glory to God. So look, mm -hmm. now we're going to show you how to repent. Y'all ready? Amen. Go with me to Acts 2.38. Are y'all getting something out of it? Amen. I hope y'all I hope y'all learning something. Y'all learning something? Amen. I can't yes. see half of y'all faces, but it's okay. The ones I can see shaking their head. <laughs> Amen. If you get kicked out, just come on back in. I don't know. It must be a lot of people on here. It keeps kicking people out. But we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing it. Amen. Amen. What does Acts two thirty eight say? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ uh. for the remission of sin. For the what? For the remission of sin. And John came preaching the baptism of repentance. Right. For, the, for remission the remission of, of sin. sin. Yes. That's Mark chapter 1, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, verse 4. And John <laughs> did baptize in the wilderness, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sin. Yeah. Before yeah. Jesus came the first time, they preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And before he comes the second time, we ought to be preaching the baptism in the of repentance of yes. for the remission of sins. Are y'all with me? Amen. Y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all with me? Y'all can't. Amen. They yes. Can't hear me. We're going to take uh, Sister Trina's word. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. All right. Let me show you something. Mark, Mark chapter. Let me tell you why we do this. Matter of fact, that's not where I want to go. I want to go to. And this is the message. I want you to see this message is critical. Luke chapter 24. We're going to look at Luke a little bit. I'm giving you the word. I hope y'all okay. learning it. Luke okay. chapter. What I say? Luke chapter 24. 24 and 47. Read that for me. 47. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations stop right there go, go to verse 45 we got to get this watch this then open he their understanding hmm. that they might understand the scriptures and said unto them thus it is written and hmm. thus it behooved christ to suffer stop and thus it is what thus it is written it is it is written it is written stop right there I'm telling you <laughs> what is written. The only thing that Christ will stand upon, that Christ will do, is what is written. Amen. Keep reading. Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. Mm -hmm. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name, among all nations, uh -huh. beginning at Jerusalem. Stop right there. It began at Jerusalem. It's going to yes. end at Jerusalem. My Two Lord. years ago, the Bible says that Jesus spoke to his disciples on the mountain, uh, 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 the Mount of Olives, which is in Jerusalem, and said the same way. That's what he told the angel to say. The same way I left mm -hmm. is the same way I'm coming back. Am I right? Yeah. You didn't say you were going to disappear before that. 
<laughs> he never said that. He said the same way I'm leaving right now. It began in Jerusalem. It's going to end at Jerusalem. So this is what this is what it is. So when we are saved, we the gospel of Jesus Christ is that Jesus was crucified according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day. Am I right? Y'all understand that? Yes. However, what is not taught and what we're supposed to be teaching is how we partake of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. All right? So I'm going to show you that what God, his plan for us is that in baptism, we partake of the death, burial, and resurrection. We join together with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, Amen. if a man is not able to get in the water, Jesus has left in a caveat, a what I call not a loophole, but a protection mechanism that that man or woman can still go to heaven and be saved. Amen. Yeah. But let me show you. Go to Romans chapter six. Woo. And this is why we got this is what we're supposed to be preaching. Amen. Repent and be baptized. I'm not leaving it. Go ahead. Read a verse six. three. Watch this. Three, Yes, ma'am. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Into his what? His death. They go to death. Jesus died by crucifixion. The Bible says if we be risen with Christ, right? We got to first die. We got to die with Christ. Mm -hmm. Meaning the old Jonathan guy must die. That's the only way I was going to be able by God to be made into who I am to be one of his servants. Right. Amen. He can't make me into a prophet, a servant, a preacher until I am dead. The old me must be dead for he that is dead is free from sin. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So because of that, I must now die. I believe Jesus died and rose again. But how am I dead? Mm hmm. For as many, read it again, watch this. That so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Into his death. Yes. We died with him. And what else did it say? Watch this. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism Stop. into death. Death. <laughs> burial. Y'all yes. see it? <laughs> Watch yes. this. Right? When I say Jesus died, he was buried, and he mm -hmm. did what? He rose. He so rose he again. Some about resurrection, right? Right. Keep reading. Watch this. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead Woo! by the glo by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. We were buried with him. This is why yes. you must be dipped. The word baptiz, baptizo, it means to dip. Just like Jesus was buried and put down into the grave. I go down into the water. Water. Glory yeah. to God. And just as Jesus rose from the dead, I come back out in newness of life. Jesus. And this is the blueprint. Mm -hmm. Brother Pastor, this is what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> and this is why I kind of said, I'm going to just let the church do what she want to do. Because they don't want to do it. I just read right there. Amen. But you know who will do it? The poor, the hungry, the sick, the lame, the pimp, the drug addict, the drug dealer. Jesus said in his word, he said, I'm like a man who bid people to come to my marriage. And all of the people that that, that, was, that was my friends, they made up excuses. I mm -hmm. just got married, Lord. This is Jesus talking. His servants came back. He said, you know what? Skip them. I want you to go and get anybody. Mm -hmm. And the guy went out and got all the nasty people who were stinky and dirty and cleaned them up and brought them in. And guess what? They was happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could be at the marriage supper. Oh, yeah. Give me. That's right. The church don't want to do it. The church oh, don't want to do it. She want to invite people to church. They want to invite. You want me to, you want me to come to church and I'm getting ready to die and go to hell. Amen. Yep. That's right. You can come with me, but tell me the gospel. Right. Tell me the gospel. 
Jesus died and rose again. What if the pastor's mouth is not meant to reach them? That's what right. if it's your mouth to reach them? Well, I don't know what to say. Tell them Acts 2.38. Tell them Jesus is coming. I don't know. I just heard this preacher. He was online. You can. He told me that, that there's coming a day where a fourth part of people is going to die. Two billion people going to die. Are you ready? Hmm. Look at this. Let me show you the byproduct of the false gospel that's preached today. Every wow. time you tell somebody about Jesus, they start telling you that they don't have the clothes to wear to go to church. Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm lying. <laughs> oh, well, I, I ain't got nothing to wear. Who said anything about suit? <laughs> Glory to God. We're supposed to be telling them to repent. <laughs> repent. Amen. They don't like this message, man. Let me shut up. Amen. 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 I, do you hear me? Repent. Watch this. We're going to keep reading. Watch this. Verse five. Yes, verse five. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, mm -hmm. we shall also, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Stop right there. You know what this is talking about? Hmm. The rapture. For the Lord himself shall descend with a shout and the voice of the archangel and the dead in Christ shall rise <laughs> that's the resurrection Amen. and the lord is saying if you look at this if you've been buried with me in baptism and risen with me in newness of life then when your body dies and your spirit goes to god when jesus comes back this body that already rose with him in baptism will now get up from the grave right. that all of the sinews on your bone can these dry bones live Yes, prophesy to the wind and watch the sinew and the muscles come back. And guess what? I'm going to be like him for it does not yet appear what we shall be. But when we right. shall see him, we shall be like, like him. him. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to be like him because I'm like yes. him right now. He yes. died. So therefore I died. He rose again. And guess what? I get up out of the water. Yes. Cleansed from my cleanse from my sins yes i don't know if you want to worship god but i worship him every single day because of that mm -hmm. glory to god this mm -hmm. is why we baptize in the name of jesus it is at the name of jesus that every single knee must do what pow wow. and every tongue must confess that he is lord mm -hmm. and when the name of jesus christ is spoken over you Every demon, every curse, every hex, every spell shall be broken. Yes. I'm going to clap and dance if yes. I got to dance by myself. Man, I might mess around, shut this off, and take a dance break by myself. <laughs> Glory to God. Keep reading it. Watch this. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed that henceforth we should not serve sin. The problem is when we most people got baptized, they didn't even know what it was for. So they went down the same way and they came up the same way. Yeah. They just got wet. That's why you don't understand why brother so-and-so, he got, he got saved, but he just don't want to, he ain't saved. <laughs> he just got wet. He never repented. <laughs> he never saw his sin being exceedingly sinful. He never understood that one single sin would make him burn in hell for the entirety of his yeah. life. Yeah. That the little lie he told when he was five caused him to go to eternal damnation. He never repented. And when he got in the water, he got in the water full of sins and he came out of the water full of sins. But I'm believing that when we preach the real gospel, that men and women will be weeping with tears. Mm hmm. Amen. I heard a preacher say, how could you stand up and preach in front of dying and men and women and stand there dry eyed, no passion. Mm -hmm. Let them come in and never tell them that Jesus died and rose again. How did you preach if you never said that Jesus died and rose again? Mm -hmm. How did you preach when you never told them to go down in the water? <laughs> Glory to God. You never told them what it was about. John preached it. Jesus preached it. The disciples preached it. Mm -hmm. And you ain't preaching it. I'm going to preach it if it kills me. 
that the Amen. old man must be crucified. I told you a long time ago, one thing you knew about a man that you saw with a cross, that you were never going to see him again. Hmm. <laughs> if you saw him with a cross going to be crucified, you were never going to see that man again hmm. alive. Do you hear what I'm saying? And Amen. Jesus said, if you get on the cross, they'll never see the old you again alive. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You'll be dead with Christ. Mm -hmm. But glory to God, on the third day, Jesus got up with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. And if you get up, you'll have all power. All power. The same Amen. power. Amen. Glory to God. Let me Amen. take you to Mark 16. Woo! Man, I feel like jumping. Actually, I feel like break dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I know you said that ain't holy dance, but you finna see me do a robot. Uh, <laughs> you finna see me. Spinning <laughs> on my head because he's worthy. He's worthy. Amen. Mark 16. I don't need an organ. He's still worthy. <laughs> Hallelujah. He <laughs> rose me from the dead with him. Yes. yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Mark 16. And 16. Okay. And 16. No, no, Even no. 15. 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And he said unto them, go ye into all the world. Some of the world. In all the world. Go ahead. And preach the gospel to every creature. <laughs> he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Stop. Huh. He, what did he say? He that believeth mm -hmm. and is baptized shall be saved. We, we learn later on that what baptism does, it deals with the saving of the soul. Meaning when I say soulish realm, I'm talking about the mind. You mm -hmm. are a spirit, but your spirit, the Bible says that before you were born, your spirit was in God. This is why God is called the father of spirits in the book of Hebrews. Mm -hmm. He is the spirit. God is a spirit. And out of him came all that possess a spirit. Even Lucifer himself go back to the original. That's why God calls himself father. It means pater. It is what we use for the paternal line of our DNA. It is the source DNA. Glory to God that you were in your, your, the egg was already in the mother, but out of the sperm, the sperm was moving. The egg was sedentary. It was still, mm. and it was the sperm, the source that came from the father that merged with the woman to give it a body. And mm. God is the father of us all. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. God is a spirit and you are a spirit, but you didn't know who you were before God made you on earth. You had no understanding you don't have any memory because you were not a living soul glory to god My Lord. watch me god made adam out of the ground the dust of the ground and god breathed into mm -hmm. adam mm -hmm. and man became a living a living soul oh yes. he could see and the bible says now doth baptism save you not from the filth of the flesh but an answer of a good conscience towards God. He clears your conscience and says, don't worry about it, son. I know you did drugs for 30 years, but you're saved, son. I know you was a player. You slept with everything that had a dress, <laughs> but guess what? It's been washed away. <laughs> Just go ahead. But Lord, I did this. God can take pedophiles and save them. Mm -hmm. God can take pimps and pr Man, people doing heroin for 30 years. Yes. And one drop of the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. one dip in the water. And guess what? It's broken. Mm -hmm. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Yes. Some of y'all did not learn that. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Woo! But watch this. Look at the caveat. Keep reading. <clears throat> but he that believeth not shall be damned watch this we believe that everything this shows you the simplicity of salvation that people don't understand it that we believe that everything that deals with salvation deals with hell mm -hmm. we associate salvation just with hell god ain't just trying to save you from hell mm -hmm. he's trying to save you from lust mm -hmm. from sin from backbiting this is the problem in the church that's why when you go in they backbite and they talk about you he's going to save you from unforgiveness he wants to save the total you you are body soul and spirit he saves your body and soul in salvation glory mm -hmm. to god 
Mm -hmm. But in the end, when, when the body, the nature, what you do, this comes as a part of salvation. God gives you justification. I'm looking at Jerese because I can see her. And I can only see y'all and, and Shay <laughs> and, and uh, 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 Minister Thompson. He saved us. Guess what he did? He gave us justification. That means that when you mess up, he makes it just as if you never did it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you say, well, wait a minute. I still, but look, I did this, this, and this. He said, oh, don't worry about it. A part of salvation is sanctification, which means I cleanse you and I set you apart. Now, you don't deserve to be cleansed and set apart, but I, it's a part of your package deal. But wait a minute, Lord. Uh, 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 I, I'm, I'm, I was just I'm just such a slave to sin. Oh, don't worry about it, Jerry. Guess what I gave you? Redemption. <laughs> Redemption <laughs> is the word that means that you have been bought out of slavery. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That he redeemed you. You know, when you're going to redeem something, you go and get it back. Mm -hmm. The Lord says you were meant to be mine from the foundation of the world, but the devil had you. But in the fullness of time, at the Kairos, the appointed time, mm -hmm. I, how did I buy you back? With my blood. Yes. <laughs> Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin has left the guilty stain, but he did what? He washed me. Washed me. He washed me in blood and in water. Watch this. God signified in the death of his son how baptism and the blood of Jesus works together. Mm. How do I know that? I'm glad you asked that, Elder Larkins. For the word of the Lord said that they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead on the cross. And they said, we need to check and confirm it. And they took a spear and they pierced him in his side. And the Bible didn't say blood just came out. No. Woo! The Bible said blood and water came out. So if blood and water came out, why don't you need blood and water? <laughs> Glory right. to the name of the Lord. Blood and water came out of his side to signify that it is through this that mankind would be transformed. Amen. Amen. Can we just praise the Lord real quick? Yes. I can't hear Hallelujah. you, but God can hear Glory you. God. You say, thank, thank you, you for the blood thank and you, Father, thank you for the water. Thank, thank you that you, you gave me the blueprint you, that I might be transformed. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Glory to God in the Hallelujah. Yes. He's coming back again. And yes, God has given you the ministry of reconciliation that you would preach it in Detroit, that you would preach it in Chicago and uh, hallelujah in Texas and all around the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So look, I can't leave without <laughs> letting you read verse 17 and 18. All right. Don't read it. What happens after you? Uh, but you believe and you're baptized. Watch this. And these signs shall follow them that believe. What? In my name shall they cast out devils. Devils got to go. <laughs> <laughs> you keep asking, Pastor, I need you to pray for me. The devil really get me. The devil got to go. Right. If you believe, if you believe and you've been baptized, then you got the authority to just cast him out. You cast know what cast out, out mean? Mm -hmm. Throw him out. Yeah. My granddaddy had a policy. If you said a curse word in this house, my granddaddy was named Big Daddy. Now, my real daddy, he was 130 pounds soaking wet after lifting weights. <laughs> if he lift some weights, he was going to be 135 soaking wet. But Big Daddy was 220, 235. I got Big Daddy jeans. I'm 235, right? Big Daddy say, what did you say, son? He would grab you by your collar and grab you by the back of your pants, pick you up. <laughs> and take you to the door and throw you out. Guess what you need to do? You need to grab that old devil. <laughs> yeah, pick him up. Grab him and by his him out. And say, in the name oh, that Jesus. I was baptized in. Yes. In Jesus. Yes. The wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the prince of peace. You got to get out of my house. Yes. You yes. got to get out of my life. You got to get out of my children's life. Woo. <laughs> Glory to God. What did he say? Keep reading. I'm going to shut up. They shall speak with new tongues. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> How many of you believe? 
Amen. You need to be speaking in speaking tongues. In tongues. Why is it? It is the language of Paul said, though I speak with the tongue of men and of angels and have not charity, I'm like a tingling brass. Don't you know that God said in the Old Testament that in the New Testament, what was going to happen, he says, with stampering lips and with another tongue shall I speak to this people. Look, mm. this is what I found out, that when I pray in the spirit and the tongues come up, do you know who's praying? God mm. is praying. Mm -hmm. God is speaking through me. You know, I was, th this happens to me now all the time. When I pray in the tongues, God lets me hear what I'm saying. Mm. And I am, I know it gotta be him because I'm speaking in the third person, talking about me as if I'm not me. <laughs> I'm praying <laughs> saying, bless Jonathan. I don't even call myself Jonathan. <laughs> I call myself J, JG, John, Pookie. That's what they used to call me before Jesus. I was like Pookie off the New Jack City. I had the S curly. It wasn't curly. They called me Pookie. Anyway, I call myself all of that, but I'm praying in the tongues and I'm speaking prophecies. He's going to prophesy out of this nation. He's going to raise up this prophet. I'm like, Lord, this is, this got to be you. The Lord is saying, I want to speak through you. Speak with new tongues. All right. Keep reading and I shut up. They shall take up serpents. Uh-huh. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Uh-huh. They shall lay hands on the sick and, they, and shall. they shall recover. They might. They shall recover. They shall recover. This is your promise. This is the promise from God to you. Glory to God. Amen. All right. I'm at 102. I think I'm almost done. I just want you to see, and I am really done, but I want you to understand that God wants this to be preached. Mm -hmm. He wants the gospel that Jesus died and rose again and that he's coming again. Let me give you this. I didn't say this before. The gospel of the kingdom includes Jesus's return. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the same gospel as the gospel of the kingdom, but the gospel of the kingdom deals with Jesus's return. How do I know that? When Jesus returns, he brings his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Our father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Where at? On earth. As it is in heaven. His kingdom is coming. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and be baptized. Every single one of you. How many of you all is a you? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'm either a you uh, I or me, right? You ain't no more. No. And I can be a we if we, if I am with you. Glory to God. <laughs> you want, you are you. Every single one of you. If you ain't been baptized in the name and the authority of Jesus, he said to do it. Amen. If you don't want to do it, take it up with him. Because I already determined I ain't going to try to make you or convince you to do it. I'm going to the ones that ain't even going, they're not even going to know nothing, but Jesus Christ, yes, I'll be baptized. Isn't it a shame? It's like, Lord, I thank you for saving me, mm -hmm. but Lord, I wish I didn't learn so much that was wrong. Yes, yes. But yes. God, at that time, he winked at our ignorance. There were some things my daddy just didn't know because someone taught him that didn't know. They, they, were, they, were, they had on the glasses of their denomination. Mm -hmm. I can only see Baptist. I can only see oneness. I can only see Kojic. So when I read the Bible, I see Kojic. Then don't even question it. I just showed you what the word of the Lord says. And this is my final scripture. And this is what I want you to see. It is. Let me see. No, I already. No, I didn't. I didn't give it to you. Yeah, I did. Did I give you all? Uh. And repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations. Yes. I gave it to y'all. Mm -hmm. Luke 24, 47 teaches you that yep. you and I are supposed to tell that message. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got. So, Father, in the matchless name of Jesus, I pray even now those that need to turn to you, that they would turn. The hour is at hand. We are not in the last days. We are in the final moments. A day unto you, Lord God, is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. We are not in the last days. We are beyond that. We are at the precipice. 
Yeah. We're in the age of AI. We're in the age of the technology of the mark of the beast, where they will take an image and bring it to life, artificial intelligence. And it would cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark in their forehead or in, inside of their hand. And without this mark, they will not be able to buy or sell. And your word has declared in Revelation chapter 20, those who take the mark shall not have eternal life. Their names shall not be in the book of the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. So we must repent now and turn to you and be baptized and do exactly what you said. And by doing this, the deception will not take hold of us. For your word says in Matthew 24, if it were possible, he would deceive the very elect of God. But glory to God, he can't deceive us because we are no longer in darkness. But we are in the marvelous light. We are in the unapproachable light. Hallelujah. We are the sons and daughters of the invisible God who reigns both now and forever, who is and was and is to come. The Lord of hosts, the Lord almighty, the Lord mighty in battle, that when the Lord Jesus comes, we will lift up our heads. O ye gates, and the gates shall open up. And what will happen? The king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. And Lord, we thank you that we will not be deceived. But those who have not repented, they shall be deceived. And shall say, who is like the beast? Those words will never come out of my mouth. Hallelujah. If everybody says it, I will not come out of my mouth. If you cut my head off, it shall not. And it is not because we are strong, but it is because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So I pray for them now that they would hear the word of God and repent. That they would reach out and we can set them up to turn to Jesus and be baptized and to be changed. It is in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 So look, Facebook, God bless you. I hope you heard me. I hope you listened to me. Uh, if you did and you want to know more and you want to be understand what I'm saying, I want you to reach out. Put it in the little remarks. Don't put it in there if you want to do like you've already done and went down the aisle 30 times and got saved 30 times and jumped in the wall. Don't do that. If you really want to be changed, changed where you're not the same that you would be a new creature any man at any time be in christ he is a new creature old things are passed away and behold all things will become new if you want that i'll show you how to do it i can't do it i can't save you but i know the one who can god bless you facebook amen